Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss McGill, your PE teacher. And I'm Carol. No, you're okay. Don't get shy. Don't. Don't get shy now. Okay. Happy Tuesday, boys and girls. It's time for me to share the prank I pulled on Miss McGill. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Wow, you singing a lot today. Okay, lots of singing. Lots of singing, because I'm Carl. Okay, that's enough of that. You don't really have to t tell the story of the prank. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, one time, I was sleeping over at Miss Miguel's house, and she went to sleep first, and I waited for her to fall into a deep, deep sleep. And when she did, I put her shoes on her feet. I put her shoes on her feet, and... Well, I tied her shoelaces together. <laughs> and she woke up. She got out of bed and fell down. And it was so funny. Yeah, you know what the not funny part of the story is? When I woke up, it was at 3 o'clock in the morning to use the bathroom. So that was not a fun time to fall down. We begin with a warm-up that's a moderate pace because we can't stretch cold muscles. Stretching cold muscles can lead to injuries, and injuries can also occur if you don't stretch before an activity. Our activity is the time when we are moving the most, and we can't forget to end our activity time with a cool-down to prevent injuries. Which part of exercise helps keep your muscles flexible and loose? Warm up, stretching, activity, or cool down? The correct answer is stretching. Come back tomorrow for some more Carl action, Carl time. Carl.